special guest back, Minjae. Yay! 오늘은 최악어 시리즈 마지막 편입니다. 그래서 조금 재밌게 게임 형식으로 캐주얼하게 진행해 보려고 준비를 했습니다. 게임이요? 게임을 너무 좋아해요. <웃음> 그래서 게임을 좋아하는 우리 민재와 또 함께 어, 하기로 했고요. 제가 축약어를 위에 하나를 띄우면 그 축약어를 가지고 어느 특정 장소 아니면 어느 특정한 사람한테 써보는 그런 이제 연습을 해볼 겁니다. 근데 그 장소나 사람을 어떻게 선택을 하냐면 스탠더 위어이라는 그 게임을 통해서 고르게 될 건데요. 그래서 즉석에 저희가 영작 발화 순발력을 테스트하는 그런 시간을 가져보도록 하겠습니다. 자, 이런 식으로 이제 어, 여러 가지 상황이 있어요. There's a store, 가게에서. To a stranger. 모르는 사람한테. At a restaurant. 식당에서. To a friend. 친구에게. At a park. 공원에서. To a teacher. 아니, 선생님께. 이런 식으로 다른 상황들이 있고요. 지금 이제부터 나가는 축약어를 어느 상황인지 아직은 모릅니다. 스탠더 위어 한 다음에 랜덤으로 특정 장소나 사람이 나옵니다. 그럼 거기에 맞춰서 축약어를 하나씩 써보는 연습이에요. 오케이, okay. ready? Yeah. 첫 번째 단어는 you. 안녕, you. you를 줄여줍니다. 자, 한번 해볼게요. 스탠더 위어. 계산하는 분들도 모르는 사람이 속하죠. 처음 보는 사람. I, I could also say, how are you today? Hi, how are you? The next phrase is, let me, which can be reduced to, let, let me. So, this is the situation. 자, 상황을 골라볼까요, 또? Spin the wheel, 빙글빙글 돌려서. 식당에서 let me hmm. let me eat this ice cream. Were you talking to me? Yes. Okay. What I flavor like would you like? I like strawberry. All right. Maybe I'll let you eat that ice cream today, especially hey. strawberry. What would you say, Mom? At a restaurant, let me have a few more minutes. If the waiter comes and says, "Are you ready to order?" Are you ready to order yet? Uh, not yet. There's so many good choices. Okay. Let me just have a few more minutes, please. The best choice is the Caesar salad. Oh my. How'd you know I love Caesar salads? <laughs> I just guessed. Yeah. You seem like a very healthy person. <laughs> okay, well, thanks. <laughs> Now, the next phrase is give me, which can be reduced to give me. Mm -hmm. Give me, give me. 어떤 상황에서 써볼까요? 돌려주세요! 빙그리! 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 빙그리
Run. Do run ten laps around the park. Ten laps around the entire park. park? Yes. I don't know about that. Do I ran five. Then do five more. I am uh, your teacher. I am your gym teacher. Oh my. I don't know. I'm not a runner. What about oh, you guys? Oh, 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 oh. 달리기는 별로 안 좋아하거든요. 여러분은 어떠신가요? He's a runner. He loves to run, not me. Okay. All right. Okay. Next. Oh wait, my turn. I would say two at a park. Hmm. Did you find a good spot for a picnic? Yes, right here. Oh, right under the shade. Oh, big, beautiful tree. I love it. <sighs> laying down on the tree. Mm -hmm. We're laying down under the tree. I have no idea which. to a stranger we probably have never met but you look really familiar for some reason why something about your face just looks very familiar and I'm like i've known you for a really long time <laughs> <laughs> okay next phrase is oh here's another common one i don't know, I don't know what it is oh. i don't know well, i really don't know what it is I just said the fifth, didn't I? You didn't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see which one the spinner chooses for us. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Ding dong. Again to a stranger. <laughs> Perfect. I don't know you. <laughs> yeah, like we just said. I don't know you. I don't know you. No stranger, obviously, because you're a stranger. I probably. I say to a stranger because it's not always like a dangerous stranger, right? A stranger is 항상 위험한 인물인 건 아니죠. 그냥 처음 보는 사람, 모르는 사람, 항상 나쁜 사람이 되는 건 아니니까. If a stranger asks me, "Oh, you look really familiar. Have we met before?" I would say, "I don't know. Maybe we did." You look familiar too, actually. That's happened to me before. Yeah. When I meet, yeah, when I meet someone. In like 10 years, and we bump into each other, we're like, oh, we're really familiar. Have we met before? I don't know. Have we? Oh, yes! There! <laughs> Next word is remember, which can be also reduced to. Is member. Member. But isn't member already a word? Oh, good question. So, for the word, for the actual word member, as in member 중에 한 명, member, member 할 때는 그냥 member, member 이렇게 발음이 되고요. Remember의 줄임말로 member를 쓸 때는 조금 음 소리를 조금 길게 한 0.1초 정도 길게 어, stretch를 해줘요. Member, member 이런 식으로요. Let's try it. Which situation will come up next? Let's get something new. We haven't had at a store. A store. What, is that new? That's new, right? Okay. Member at a store. Find it? 
Ah, it is in the second eye. Oh, why? Well, thank you. You are so helpful. Thank, thank you. you. Oh, thank you. Oh, no, thank you. Thank okay, you. Thank you. Thank you all for right, coming. All right. The next <laughs> word is going, which can also be shortened to going. Please be touristy. Going. I have a perfect no, no, no. for touristy. You do? Let's get something new. Uh, okay. At a park. Going. So let's let's pretend at the park mm -hmm. that a ten lock is still going on. You're at you're What's at the park. You're, the ten, you're still running. Oh, the ten, oh my, laps. I'm still running the ten laps. Everyone. You, Run. you did, you did six laps. Puffing already. and puffing. You did six laps, and you're close to the last one. Uh -huh. And then you needed some water, but the, but I mean, the gym teacher said, "Where are you going?" Drink oh, water very, uh, after you run around the track. Strict gym teacher over here. No wonder my name is Mr. Strictface. Oh my gosh, Mr. Strictface, <laughs> not. You would not want him as your gym teacher. He's gonna make you run 10 laps around the park. At the park, I could say, uh, I'm going to get something to drink. Do you want anything? Mm, I like a Powerade, a Gatorade, and a whole jug of Coca Cola. Oh my goodness. <laughs> everything that I do not like. <laughs> it was everything that I love. Mm, yes. All right, uh, nothing. Nothing. Nothing done bon hook. One, two, three. Nothing. Let's see, let's get something nothing. new. Oh, that's new. To a teacher. To a teacher, nothing. Oh, what would you say to a teacher using the word nothing? We have nothing for homework? That's great! Mm -hmm. Love you are a lucky day. You have you have nothing for homework. I would use nothing like this. If a teacher asked me, oh, what's wrong today? I would say, nothing, just a little tired. 이런 식으로 ing가 들어가는 거를 casual하게 얘기할 때 in, 그냥 ing이라고 안 하고 in 이런 식으로 go in. We did to a friend at a park, to a teacher at a store, to a stranger and at a restaurant. We did all of them, mm -hmm. at least once. Okay, the next word is until, which can be shortened to till. Let's see. Oh, at a park thing. We're at a park. Mm, oh. I have a good one. You go first. Hmm. Until we meet again. Next time, we'll meet at the park instead of my house. Okay. A play date at the park sounds nice. Yeah. Mm, I would say at a park. Let's stay till 3 o'clock, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. Next, we have... Because. Oh, another common Cause. one. Because. And let's see. Let's see what we get this time. Maybe we can continue some stories. At or oh, At a park. Perfect. We were just talking about at a park. So we can say... And then Mr. Frick face it. Because you did 10 laps, because you did 10 laps today, to make up for the 5 laps you would have to do tomorrow, tomorrow is a free day. Oh, wow, Mr. Strickface, you're being super nice today. Thank you. And Mr. Strickface, when you do say, I could say, because you made me run 10 laps today at the park, I think tomorrow I'll take a break from running. Mm -hmm. Bah! Yeah, I deserve it. Okay, next is what do you? Which what you? What do 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 you? Oh, to a teacher. Oh, we're talking to the teacher again. Maybe. What do you think about the new class pet? I would say to the teacher, what do you think about what happened in the news yesterday? Oh, news? Yeah, what do you think about that? A bunch of buildings went, got on fire and burned down. Oh no, that's a tragic accident. But everyone in but all the buildings escaped. Oh good, everyone was safe, no one got hurt? Nope, no one. Just mm -hmm. tiny scratches and oh, tiny burns. Not, no serious injuries. Thank goodness. 
Next phrase is what, what are, are you? you? Also pronounced as what you. What you. What you doing? Like that. You could use two. To what like what that. do you do? What are you doing? What what you doing? Hmm. At a restaurant. At a restaurant. What you gonna order? I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided. What about you? I think I'm gonna go to Blackmaster Burger and uh, get a, a shrimp burger. Mm. I love their shrimp burgers, yes. I would say at a restaurant. What you gonna do with the leftovers? Mm, I think I'm gonna give them to you. Oh yes, I always eat your leftovers. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't, but you I do. always do. Yes. And last but not least, the one that I added. Mm -hmm. What did, did you? Also pronounced as. Was you? Let's see what it is. Oh, good. We didn't get that that much at a store. Did you guys know that? At a store, I think I would say, "What did you? What did you buy?" Also known as, "What did you buy?" Okay. I got some rice and some strawberries today. Your favorite? Yep. Mm -hmm. I could say. Mommy's going to the grocery store. What do you want me to pick up for you? Ramyun, ice cream, chocolate, gum, <laughs> jellies. All the delicious stuff. And that's it. Oh yeah. That's it. And also big plump ripe strawberries. Oh, okay. Yes, strawberries I have on my list already. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> All right, everyone. That's it for today. See you guys soon. Is there anything you'd like to say? I'll take an honor working with you. Oh, thank you. It's fun working with you as always. And 여러분도 함께 해보셨나요? 이런 식으로 이미 알고 있는 단어를 계속 실생활 속에서 사용해 보시는 연습하시면 굉장히 도움이 많이 되실 겁니다. 자, 그럼 여기서 마치고 저희 또 다음 시간에 찾아뵙도록 하겠습니다. Bye everyone. 구독해 주세요. Oh yes, thank you. Having fun while learning feel like playing a game. 배우면서 재미가 있다면 게임하는 것처럼 느껴진다. NN Projazian